The one thing that we really like to do too is when we are set up in this position, and you're gonna see me talk about this a lot with all of our fielders, but as she receives the ball, she's gonna take the ball and the glove straight to the plate, okay? Straight to the plate. Now, if we have a slide by, she can slide her glove around, okay? A lot of crafty base runners and sliders like to work around and slide and try to come on by. We know that the runner has to come to the plate, they have to come to the base. So if we train, which you'll see in a lot of glove work we do, if we train our athletes always to take the glove straight to the plate, now they know the runner's gotta come to them there, okay? If Macy tries to reach out and get me out here, I've got her momentum going this way and I sweep by and I can tag here. I always know the runner's gotta come to the plate. She's in a very good athletic position, she's balanced, she takes the ball straight to the, the glove, straight to the bag, and then she's got the runner from there. From there, if we do a slide by, boom, slide by, she can turn around, she can come up, feed her underneath her, and now she can make a throw to second base if she needs to, to work from there, okay? So, just a couple of the moves that we like to see. Um, one for safety, two for fundamentals, and three for dictating the runners to where she's going so she can move to the next spot. So as I start to fungo some of these and we work this drill work, you're gonna see a lot of these things show up. And you're also gonna hear the coaching staff as we get into some of the drills talk about, hey, Macy, take the glove to the bag. Hey, Macy, get in front of the bag. So our verbiage is always the same. Very important that when we come out here and we start running full team practice with a lot of players that we have good verbiage. Macy and I have talked about this. The other catchers, we've talked about this. So when I say something and maybe I'm in left field, it sinks in right away and she can make that adjustment. Or more importantly, which I think is huge, right away she makes a mistake. Oh, dang it, I should have got in front of that. Oh, I should have let that ball travel. Now I know she knows. We're all gonna make mistakes, that's fine. But if I do a good job of educating her and drilling her and making her feel confident about all the positions, all the athletic positions she can have back here, she's gonna be her own coach and she's gonna be her best coach. And that's huge to let them go play the game when it comes time. So let's work on all the fundamentals, let's drill them on the fundamentals, let them have confidence when they go compete on the field and play in the game. <laughs> all right, so for this drill now, we just talked about some fundamental catching work, uh, working around the bag, footwork, being in a pretty good sound athletic position. Now actually we just take a fungo and we work from the five, six hole or up the middle and we actually fungo the ball. So, so we're just simulating a throw from the outfield or maybe you know our cutoffs and we're simulating that right now and I'm just gonna work her glove work. So right now I'm gonna say Mace, girl's not even around third base, she's not coming off far, okay? So she can just trust her and work her glove work right now. So let's go ahead and Coach Snyder. Good, tag, very nice. Okay, so we can see Macy just kind of working, just uh, just again, fun going one hop, sometimes two hops, you know, and then sometimes ball on the money, but I want to make sure that she's down in that athletic position, okay, that she's trusting the glove work, and that's a big one right there, okay, just feeling that, go ahead and get down there again, Mace, okay, just having the ability to do this right here, just working a short hop is huge, and a big part of that comes from her lower half, okay, so we're lucky enough to spend a lot of time in the weight room, she's a really strong one, but she can move her glove by moving her legs, okay, that, that's extension right there, if I keep my legs in one position and I start to reach out, I'm going to lose the ability to be balanced when I'm able to make this catch, okay, so she wants to be able to make sure she uses her legs, and you'll see that as we work here, and then pulls her back to a position where she's strong when someone slides in, they're sliding into a strong left leg. All right, Coach Snyder. <clears throat> Good. Tag. Good. Very good, right there, good. Couple two hoppers. Okay. Good, now you can see her, she let the ball travel. The girl's on you now, Mace, okay? So we're gonna have to let the ball travel right now. So it's gonna be a bang, bang play. Okay, she's giving the runner the plate and she's gonna make sure that she's sliding right into a tag. Okay, good. 